Well, good evening, our beloveds. This is take two. Our first one was rejected by our another. So here is a different take on today. How are you all doing today? How does it sound when we speak like this? It sounds like there is no continuity in the words and in the sentence and in the statement and you have to wait for the next word to appear before you know what we are saying. This is very similar to being a channeler for us. When we channel through our another, it sounds much like this in her head as we give her only one word at a time. When you speak with your friends, family, lovers, employers, etc., you know what you are going to say in concept and string together the words to flow so the meaning is transmitted to the other person. However, when you are a trans channel, you are given maybe one word or possibly two in advance in energetic form, meaning you feel it, not hear it, and then when it comes through, then the next word comes through. So you don't have the full sentence, nor the full concept or topic. It is much like reading a book. You read one word at a time, awaiting the next one to hear the rest of the story. When you hear our another speak, this is how she receives the information. One word at a time. And to be honest, she does not get the fullness of the message until it has been recorded and she listens to it again while transcribing it. Only at that time can she actually hear the brilliance of our message. The message that she just turned down was, from her perspective, nonsensical, and she could find absolutely no linear logic. And so she said, try again. And here we are. We will encourage her to listen to it because there was magic in those words, just not something that she can comprehend yet. So here we go. Boo, who, who. How many of you are crying over spilt milk tonight? It is not by chance. Milk 
that has been spilt is here to teach you to surrender to something greater outside of, but really within yourselves. Find the hidden message, and if you are confused, pull some tarot cards, read your tarot Bible, read the tarot leaves, play tarot radio, find tarot words in any book that you randomly open up. Ask and you shall receive if you first set the intention and request insight from your Holy Spirit team. Who you ask matters as much as when you ask. Would you ask the opinion of a hateful neighbor whom you don't like? Or would you prefer somebody who has your best interest at heart? Be mindful of the energies out there as some, or honestly many, wish to delude you and confuse you as their sole purpose is to continue to create chaos. If you put arsenic in or on anything, you should not be surprised by its activity on your body, mind, and soul. Arsenic is not good nor bad. It is simply poison. And wishing it to be different does not change its nature. It may simply minimize or potentially maximize its effectiveness. We hope that our particular message today has been clear so that you all understand the energy world and how it communicates with you a little bit better. Be well, be blessed. You are immensely loved by all. No exceptions. And so it is. Namaste.